Today's video, I'm going to take this track out of the old cat, the 18 uh, Mountain Cat, and I'm going to put a different track in it. We're going to swap out the drivers and put a whole different system in here. And it's not a single rail, it's still going to be a dual rail, but it's going to be 10 times better than what's in here. So I took the regular 3.0 pitch track off. So that means you're three inches in between windows. The cat has a 3.0. The new alphas have the 3.5. This is an 18, so it's still got 3.0. The Dew, I believe, has one of the better tracks. So that's why I went with the Dew track. But in order to put that on, you have to take the 3.0 drivers off and get 3.5 pitch drivers made. So now, none of the manufacturers offer this system for this older sled, so you have to suss it out. So my good buddy at Mount Magic, Ken there, ordered me up a set of seven tooth, 3.5 tooth drivers. So they are a little bit bigger in diameter, which is gonna help it turn over nice and gears it up a little bit. So I'll get a little more speed out of it. Plus this thing's gonna roll over so nice because I clipped the track, cut all the nubs off. This thing is gonna be awesome. Sorry to interrupt the video guys, but I just realized this is gonna be really long. So what you're watching right now is a condensed version of this track mod video. I'm gonna make this really tight and really quick for those of you with ADD. However, I'm gonna keep a very long video that has more mechanical stuff, more technical stuff in it. And I'll put the link like somewhere here on the screen. So if you want a long version, probably like 20, 25 minutes, Click on this one. If not, just keep watching this one. As always, subscribe. It doesn't cost you a thing. It really helps us out. And let's get back to the Trek Mod. This is probably the easiest way to get a skid out of, out of a sled chain off, that's easy on these cats. And then pull the snap ring off. No problem. That snap ring right there. That's what it looks like inside. Now we gotta take these nuts off in order to get the brake disc off. Those bolts have to come out in order to get the brake caliper off. So the only way to get it off is to split this baby. Other than that, it's not too bad. Then that shaft pops right out of there. I didn't have to take the chain case off. It's all good. So cool stuff. Nice aluminum, very light. Holy man, is that ever light. Good stuff. Take some measurements of where the drivers are gonna be, especially from the end you're gonna be putting them on from. on your flat surface and rock them a bit. If they don't rock back and forth, they're perfect. And that'd be the finished product. So that there, guys, now you can actually see how long the cooler is on this snowmobile. It's not very big. Like you take a dew, for instance, it goes all the way to the back and a Polaris. And that's why they get so much ice buildup on their running boards. Guys always want their stuff to go faster. It's been, it's been from the dawn of time. Everybody's making shit go faster. This is gonna help. So I did manage to take a little bit of weight out of this track, but then I put some clips on, so add a little bit more, but it should be pretty good. All the manufacturers are coming out with every second clip missing for weight. Um, it does not help your sled turn over at all, because it gets sticky. Easy peasy. So on the cat, we do have quite a bit of room. Nice. That couldn't go together any better. So yes, this is gonna work slick. Ooh, I like it. The old kitty's gonna be a ripper. I don't know if anybody noticed, but this is not our regular lair. Uh, I had to move into a different location. 
My buddy's letting us stay here in this nice, great big shop. So then we're gonna drop this back in here. We gotta move this up. Drop that in there nicely. Oh, that's beauty. There we go. Put our snap rings on there. Oh, so pretty. So there, yeah, it's spun. Looks like it's in the groove. I got it on the right way. On to snap ring number two. Huh. Nice little groove there. She's in there. Excellent, just cooking right along, guys. This is like one of the best, uh, the best tensioners I've seen on the market. It's so simple. Done. So every time that track gets, or the sprocket gets a little loose, it clicks down one more little notch and keeps it nice and tight. Brilliant idea. Yeah, I wish I had the tool for this. It's not like I do it every day, so. so when you put it in, I like to put the front end first. Get her in there. Urgh. Nothing wrong with having too much Loctite, eh, Kenny? And if you learned anything through this video, subscribe, because there's more of this coming. So we're going to try to tighten this up. Give me about a couple minutes here. Oh, I hope that track tightens up in there. I'm not going to lie to you, I'm pretty excited. Because I think this is going to be cool. A cool little mod. This is probably the part of the video that you speed up. We're close to where the old track was. So if you do the numbers, we have an inch and a half on the ground more. So we should be almost right to the back by the time we're done tightening it. So the tensioner is only, see the old one was right here. You can see it. So we're back about an inch, inch and a quarter, and we got another Oh, quarter inch, half an inch back there, and we're a little loose. But you gotta remember, these big drivers don't skip. So you can run your track a little looser, which is gonna be awesome. Oh, oh my God! Look how easy that rolls over! <laughs> I bet you can't do that with a stock sled. Try it, guys. Yeah, there's no clutch on there, but take it off and try to spin a track like that. This thing is gonna be wicked. Look at that. Oh, that's beautiful. Love it. This sled should be able to take you places. How are we going to lift it to run it? Hmm? I wonder if I put a spark plug cap back on. Sounds like it's running on one cylinder. <laughs> I forgot to, forgot to put a spark plug on her. <laughs> 